Hello to all and welcome to the Watches TV and today we will rapidly talk about a rather exceptional timepiece and as you may know, well I have always been a big big fan of the GMT Tourbillon by Grebel Forcé. I like every edition they made, naturally some a bit more than others. I once had the chance of reviewing all five of them at the same time, that was quite special and sweet for me. I also liked it when a couple of years ago they came up with a properly and successfully revised version with the GMT Earth. And what about this year with the super spectacular quadruple tourbillon version? Well, what an amazing timepiece. And the point I want to make is that to modify slash play around with an established, recognized and much appreciated design is seriously a pretty difficult challenge to undertake. So when I first heard that Grebel Force was about to introduce the sports version of the GMT, well, of course, I was a bit anxious to see how in the world they could pull this off. And you know what? Well, they did. So I first saw this timepiece during the Dubai Watch Week when it was discreetly showed to me, kind of an under-the-counter uh, type of thingy, but then uh, when, with Mr. Fosse himself, we took it out in style as we accompanied uh, Salim, a very accomplished horse rider, to his training facility early morning to put this timepiece into proper motion, well, it was a pretty nice way to start the day. So what can be said? Well, the Grubel Fosse team really managed to come up with a very serious evolution of the original GMT. We see its character and provenance, but at the same time, it is very, very different. And let's start on the design side. So the first aspect which uh, stands out is obviously the curved shape of the case. It is properly uh, rounded uh, and sits just marvelously on the wrist. Trust me on this, I tried it and didn't want to take it off. And going after what uh, Salim said after his training session, well, it worked in these circumstances circumstances pretty fine as well. So this uh, curve shape is not only seen on the back but also on the dial side uh, as it mimics uh, uh, this in a parallel way and therefore the sapphire glass is also curved and there are these are really not easy to do. So one of the cool aspects of all this is that when you look at it uh, from the top, the case, uh, the watch really seems round in fact, and, but in reality it's much more overweight, kind of a little optical illusion which works just fine. But one of the consequences of this uh, curved design, and as you can see it, is that it's pretty thick, 15.7 millimeter, but uh, when you have it on it seriously doesn't feel thick at all. Uh, but then what the show for your eyes to look at, there is just so much depth, such an immense volume, nicely and pro proportionally filled, if I can say so, with the super intricate mechanism of the GMT. And Grubel Fosse had to rethink the entire uh, movement's architecture. It's by far not a copy-paste of existing models. So now you don't have a proper dial. The hour and minute open worked hands seem to be like kind of floating on top of the mechanism. And you find the uh, minutes and uh, five minute indices on the periphery to help the legibility. These uh, curved hands are held by a curved titanium two-tone bridge under which uh, you will find gear trains which follow this curve also. Just a small detail, but you know, how cool is this? So then a bit deeper inside the watch, you will find the dual time zone indications at 10 o'clock. And on that uh, small sub dial, you will also see an aperture letting you see uh, this timepiece's uh, second, uh, seconds indicator with a rotating uh, disc feature. Yes, that's also cool. So more or less uh, on the same plane, but on the other side at three o'clock, you will find the power reserve indicator. And this timepiece offers the same 72 hours of the power reserve, same as the other GMT models. So still a bit deeper, you will find the iconic 3D globe at 8 o'clock, such a distinctive feature of the GMT. And on the model filmed in Dubai, well, this globe had a black finish corresponding to the first edition of this new timepiece, limited to 11 pieces and is just released and it's already all sold out. And the second series with the globe in blue will be launched early next year. So as a quick reminder, this globe rotates on itself in 24 hours in the same direction as the actual Earth and can be compared to a well-time indicator uh, with a two-half uh, uh, disc acting as a day-night indicator too. So regarding the tourbillon and on the original GMT, well, it was found at uh, 5 o'clock, but now this 25 degrees inclined tourbillon rotating on itself in 24 seconds is found on the opposite side of the globe and no longer next to it. And the V-shaped bridge, uh, which holds it, uh, presents the same two-tone uh, two aspect, black and uh, metal, uh, titanium actually. So on the side of the case, you have two pushers, one for the second time zone and one to adjust the position of the Earth. And on the back, you have a quite a different display of the city disc uh, corresponding to the 24 hour different time zones. And again, I'm very sorry for India, but no half an hour increment planned for you. 
So compared to the original GMT, I mean this watch has no particularly sporty function really added to it. It features the same display of information. But like I mentioned before, it is really very different from this original GMT. And I really think that Gravel Force they challenged themselves and clearly went outside of their comfort zone and they really did an amazing job. So no sporty function, but this timepiece has for sure a sporty feel to it and the extensive use of uh, titanium contributes uh, largely to this and actually makes it very light to wear for such an impressive timepiece. And without uh, repeating ourselves uh, too much regarding rubber Fosse, but as you can expect, the attention to details, the mix of finishing techniques and the level of quality, I mean, is just all the way out there. And the good news for those concerned is that it comes at a lower price than the original GMT, but obviously we're still kind of, well, you know what I mean, you know. Well, a big congrats to the team of Grubble Force. Uh, and uh, the annoying thing is that uh, I have yet another item to put on my wish list, or should I say my wishful thinking list. So hope you enjoyed this. All the very best to you. Thanks for watching and Viva Watchmaking!